for action. So, I've got everything wired. And uh, Mr. Molds, Mr. David, Sam, hopefully I can spin this motor without the weapon on there, without hurting anything. So, you guys didn't tell me not to do it. So, I'm going to fire up the drive and see if all of our weapon lights come on. Oh, this makes me nervous. Hopefully, just a yellow light will come on. All right. We have a yellow light down there. We have a radio on. Now, supposedly, I can turn on the weapon at the radio, at the transmitter, and a little red light should come on, though I covered it with yellow duct tape. So I'm turning on the weapon and we've got an LED in there. So it looks like the electronics are working. Let's see if the other stuff is working. Drive forward. Driving forward. Driving backwards. Driving backwards. Let's see, we'll call this a right turn. Call this a left turn. Seems to be spinning the right way. Now, let's turn on the red light, which will be equivalent to turning on the weapon, which I actually am turning on the weapon. We have a red LED. Ah. Uh, Let's hope this thing fires up. Let's see, can you see it spinning there? I don't know how to tell if this thing, you guys should be able to hear it. So, here goes hopefully something, something good. That's a beautiful noise. Uh, you may not hear it in my voice because it's like 92 degrees in the warehouse right now. It's 8 o'clock on a Saturday. And this is the first time I've had this robot actually functioning. This, okay, this is pretty freaking awesome. Thank you, Sam and David, for giving me a chance to drive this thing. Hopefully, I do you guys proud. And John, thank you for getting it and giving me the chance to drive.